Hi you guys and welcome to the Joy of Gay Sex series here today ladies and gentlemen. I'm Charlie aka Miss Charlize and of course you're looking at this on my Charlie's Unique channel for the uh, Joy of Gay Sex series. Now if you have not checked out my dancing videos for today over on my other channel which is Cross Dressing Janice 08. Um, check out those videos and all my other hundreds of videos over there on that YouTube channel. But today we're going to talk about topics out of the fabulous joy of gay sex book, The Best Selling Guide for Gay Men. So I'm sure a lot of gay men have had daddy-son fantasies, just as straight couples have had daddy-daughter, um, I don't know, mother and son. As freaky as that sounds, people have actually had fantasies like this. And um, here's an actual picture of that. And yeah, otherwise I would call that incest, but that's only if you're actually screwing your own dad or whatever. But um, in the fantasy world, you can, of course, have sex with your sex buddy or whatever. And he can be an older man and he might, you might think of him as your daddy, he might think of you as your son, whatever the case may be. But it's hot to some people. So, of course, I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys what the daddy-son fantasies is here in the book. Here we go. Ooh, I don't want to show my boobs or anything. The daddy-son scene has become more popular these days. It's difficult to say why. Is there a greater need for good parenting? Or has access to the internet provided a boon to this special kind of relationship because of the new case with which one can now find others who enjoy the fantasy. The scene derives its power and interest from real life psych psychological issues in many gay men's lives. There are an increasing number of books about the importance of fathers and the sexual development of their sons. As long ago as 1981, Charles Silverstein's Man to Man, Gay Couples in America, William Marrow documented the sexual interest some gays have in their own fathers, including masturbation fantasies of being flexed by them. And clinicals tell us that some gay youths have attempted to seduce their fathers. Richard Isley's Being Homosexual, Gay Men and Their Development, Ferrer Stratus, and Jurex discusses the importance of the erotic attachment of gay sons to their fathers. The primary goal of daddy son scenes appears to be taking care of the son, helping him to grow within the context of a sexual scene. Occasionally, the daddy-son relationship continues outside the bedroom as well. In the gay scene, daddies tend to have certain physical characteristics. Salt and pepper and sometimes thinning hair, facial and chest hair, faces that show maturity. Some sons prefer daddies with large hands, the better to spank them, but otherwise a daddy needn't necessarily be the greatest physical shape. The actual age of the participants isn't fixed either. A son doesn't have to be much younger or even younger at all. He should, however, exude a boyish, even mischievous quality, and while he may not sport facial hair, either he or his daddy may prefer shaving off the son's body hair. The daddy-son scenario is usually played out with the younger one being either a good boy or a bad boy. Naturally, bad boys are punished, often by naked ass spanking over daddy's knees. Some, more deeply into the scene, may acquire and wear certain clothing coded to the fantasy. Short pants for the son and a cardigan sweater and slippers for the dad. These accent the reality of the scene and heighten the sexual charge for the participants, as do the use of authentic belts and hairbrushes for the spanking. Obviously, clothing isn't required. Two naked men can play out the scene in bed perfectly well. As a rule, a son prefers to get fucked by the daddy and to follow the daddy's orders, but not too quickly. Many of these scenarios end with the boy being complimented for being good. The praise, we suspect, is the ultimate psychological goal of the scene. For gay men from unloving homes, the combination of being loved and being fucked by daddy may be nirvana. The entire sexual scene is filled with talk between the two men, with the daddy giving instructions to the son, show me how you make daddy proud and complimenting him for correct behavior. It's not unusual for the participants, practically or particularly the son, to experience a rush of emotion over after orgasm. 
Cradled by his daddy, the son may cry at the warmth and compassion he's experiencing, warmth he probably never experienced from a biological father. One also finds sugar daddies in gay life, which may be a transformation of daddy-son phenomenon. The sugar daddy is older, richer, and more powerful than the young man who becomes attached to him. While they don't call each other daddy or son, the older man takes on the role of protector and mentor, as well as being financially supportive of his charge. Clearly, the role of a father, whether being cared for by an older man or being awash in his money, is the primary motivation for the young man is unclear. So, people have fantasies like that, you guys. Or people actually do do their own fathers or mothers or whatever. It's crazy. I'm not going to say that I haven't had such a fantasy before. I mean, some of my buddies I've had in the past I've called daddy. Oh, yeah. Anyway, you guys, let me know what you think about this topic. Comment below, you guys. Subscribe. If you have not checked out many of my almost 34 other subjects here on this YouTube channel, check them out, guys. Comment. Let me know what you think about the videos. All right, you guys. Stay tuned for the next topic here on the Joy of Gay Sex series. I love that.